natural gas prices are slightly up on Friday, attempting to recover from earlier losses. But it declined after a neutral to bearish EIA storage report indicated a build of 71 billion cubic feet, in line with market expectations of 69 billion, though slightly smaller than the five-year average of 83 billion cubic feet. On Thursday, nat gas futures experienced their fifth decline in six trading sessions. This drop occurred despite the widespread excessive heat affecting a large portion of the lower 48 states. The market's primary focus shifted towards the robust supply levels and the tropical systems forming in the Gulf of Mexico. The persistent high temperatures had already been anticipated and incorporated into market forecasts, prompting traders to pivot their attention to the emerging tropical storms and the resumption of production levels. As a result, the impact of the heat wave on the market was overshadowed by these other significant factors. Meanwhile, U.S. energy company EQT, the nation's biggest gas producer, said earlier in June that it started boosting output. Increased nat gas production and higher flow capacity have also contributed to the downward pressure on prices. Despite the current high temperatures, these factors are mitigating the potential for a significant price increase. In contrast, gas-fired electricity generation has risen year-to-date compared to the same period last year, driven by higher power demand and increased usage by data centers. Analysts project natural gas will provide around 42 percent of the nation's electricity this year. The ongoing heatwave, which has led to sweltering temperatures across large parts of the U.S., has been a significant factor. From June 21 to 26, high pressure is expected to dominate the eastern U.S., bringing temperatures in the upper 80s to mid-90s. Meanwhile Texas will experience cooler temperatures due to heavy rains from a tropical system in the Gulf of Mexico, potentially reducing overall demand. Given the current conditions, the market is likely to maintain a short-term bearish outlook. Strong production, increased flow capacity, and mixed weather demand suggest that professionals will likely continue selling during price rallies. The nearest support is a short-term pivot at $2.80, with intermediate support at the $2.70 level, just above the 50-day moving average of $2.60. On the upside, the key resistance level is the $3 barrier, which I think will be very difficult to overcome in the near future, if new additional catalysts emerge. Please like, subscribe, and comment to support the channel. See you in the next one.